Well, um, Beatrix is starting to question, just like Steiner is just beginning to question, but it's kind of too late for her. She's already done some horrific shit by this point. I mean, come on. Moogle! How you doing? <laughs> Giving chase of a Moogle. Okay, let's get down there and uh, do this thing. Uh, just to warn you, I'm recording this second half of this episode like a week away from when I recorded the first half. So if it sounds a little weird, then that's the reason why. This seems like a bad idea. And why do we have airship travel if we can just teleport everywhere? Ah, uh, whatever. I guess you have to attack from some sort of weapons platform. Okay, what you're just gonna do is swing back and forth. Just make sure you don't do, say, this here and try swinging at the same time. We are really only controlling Steiner. Marcus is controlling himself. Ah, shit. Well, it seems like Marcus will almost always do it right. Oh, uh, you know what? We are sort of controlling Marcus. When he, uh, if we do it the right way, he'll do it the right way. If we do it the wrong way, he'll probably still do it the wrong way. The right way, whatever. Just have to do this until we can break out. Seems like a weird way to hold somebody prisoner. Suspend them from the ceiling in the middle of a large room. I guess it can sort of make it more difficult to escape, except for unless you do something like that. Okay, how did they manage to get out of the cage? Um, whatever. Just, uh... Let's move on. Oh, oh, Alexandrian soldier. Now this is something interesting. Steiner has finally been brought to the point where he is 
fighting against Alexandrian soldiers here. First time we've seen him actually fight one of them. Now Zidane and, and his party have fought them for the past few um, episodes for various reasons, but this is Steiner finally finally doing it. Now of course there's two conflicting interests Steiner has here. He has his loyalty to the Queen and his loyalty to Dagger on the other side of that. Now whereas Beatrix her loyalty to the to the Queen seems to be stronger than her loyalty to the princess. Steiner has been traveling with the princess this entire time and he doesn't really understand what's going on. The only thing he knows for sure is that the girl he was traveling with was the princess and she's in danger now so he's doing whatever he has to do to go and save her. So he hasn't been, exp he's essentially just been locked up and not really given any sort of explicit orders that he has to go and um, do whatever it is that they're doing right now. Of course, inside of his head, from Steiner's perspective, all this might just still be some kind of significant mistake. He had silently been thinking to himself a few episodes back, in the beginning of this disc, that the situation was some sort of mistake, that perhaps it was some misunderstanding, or maybe that Zorn and Thorn were in the middle of some sort of power play. Of course, as the players, we know better. We know that the Queen is in fact doing something evil. Although, exactly what that is, um, we don't know. The Queen's been trying to get a hold of various crystals, uh, crystals being a reoccurring theme in the Final Fantasy series. You son of a bitch. Alright, so apparently it takes a half an hour for an airship to travel between Clara and Alexandria. No time to waste here. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll open the gate. Yeah. Oh, nope. Can't. Okay, we have Steiner as part of... Oh, even when you paused. <laughs> Timer counts down. Oh, battle. Okay, um, this is the first time in quite a while since um, about halfway through disc one that Vivi and Zidane have been in the same group as Steiner. Steiner never really traveled with Freya, but he did meet her at one point. Um, and, and there is some uh, like little character bit there. Steiner still doesn't have much trust or fondness for Zidane, although he does. He has been shown to have a bit of a growing, um, growing bit of respect for him. Ah, damn, Vivi's trancing. <laughs> against this pathetic group of enemies. That's a shame. S uh, Steiner doesn't trust Zidane yet. He doesn't really have fondness for him or anything like that. The respect really isn't enough. But he is... Um, he always has had some degree of respect and fondness for Vivi. It's 
I mean, he wasn't really able to explain, hasn't really gone through much to explain the reason why the Pluto Knight. <laughs> He's not going to try and fight us. Pluto Knights are kind of useless anyway. Terrible soldiers. Huh. Oh, yes. Challenge. The, um... But, for whatever reason, he has a stronger trust for Vivi than he does for Zidane. Of course, Vivi never tried to, um... Vivi never tried to kidnap the princess or anything like that. And regardless of whether... Uh, Dagger actually wanted to wanted to um, run away or not, Steiner still saw her um, her kidnapping as a sort of like dastardly act on the part of Zidane and his group. Wow, I am not doing too well in this fight, am I? <laughs> oh, no. Still alive, barely, but still alive. Nope, 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 I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Unless this thing's like one hit away from death, I'm gonna lose. Which is highly unlikely. <laughs> What's this thing called again? Uh... Tarn. Yep, that's gonna kill me. Oh, what do you know? This thing is a high defense. Probably should have tried an armor break on it. But uh, Steiner's unconscious, so that's not gonna work. Doom is not typically an actual death sentence. It just sort of like, uh, it, yeah, there we go, it worked. It's gonna count down, and once it gets to zero, then... Then we die. Of course, with the slow ATB gauge, the... Oh, shit, we're gonna die. It's over. Trying to take this thing on now is a mistake. I mean, it is possible. Uh, I'm not going to put through the effort for it right now. Plus, um, I'll have an opportunity later on in the game when I'm in a much better position to do it. Won't be under some sort of a time restriction. Uh, this is clearly not where I want to be. Got that uh, soldier running around down there. Something interesting to note about these soldiers. They are really the only human opponents that we have faced in fights in this game. The guy looks like Quinn is gone. What happened to Quinn anyway? Well, anyway, damn it. So they behave a little differently than some of the other enemies that we faced in this game so far. Most notably, if they are losing a fight, like you hit, you damage them to the point where they are. Was that a random encounter? If you damage them to the point that they are near death, they will actually flee. I don't know if I can actually set that up right now. Uh, Zidane and Steiner are capable of killing one of them in one hit. Uh, Freya... Uh, Freya takes a little... Uh, has to hit a couple more times. Maybe Freya and BB. Attacking together can lower one's HP enough. We'll see it here, maybe. Oh, maybe not. Nope, nope, she's gonna attack. Take her out. They will, they will flee, though, if you damage them enough. Which can make chipping away at their health kind of a, uh, kind of a hard thing to do. You're what? You're cha- oh. You look like you're changing, because you stand in there. 
Oh, there was a... There was a soldier there. I just ran right into her. Really? Crap. <laughs> uh, it's a throne room, I think, right? I think uh, maybe this is the throne room. Yeah, uh, where the queen was watching the play from. Not where I want to be, just wanted to go and see it. Go the other way. I think this is where I need to go. Ah! And then they give up chasing you once you get to the next room. This is not the nemesis. This is the... Maybe the bedroom? Or another kind of throne room? I don't see a bed, but I do see a throne, a chair that's sort of facing the wall, though. That's kind of weird. Anyway, glowing thing. It's gotta be it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, ain't that some shit. <laughs> what I want to do is hop back on get over here, then I can get these treasure chests. Ice brand. That'll be for Freya. I think it'll be for Freya. No. Oh, oh. Snap, it's for, uh, it's for Steiner. Okay, it does increase attack power quite significantly, but I'm going to lose out on the ability to get the, the minus strike, or the, uh, the minus strike, or the armor break, and I kind of want to get the armor break. It's only a couple more fights until then. So, maybe I should have fought a couple of more soldiers to get that. Yeah, well, anyway, for now, I will, I will swap it out. And, uh, take the higher attack power. Weird cutouts on everything. And this is where the, uh, we're captured. So, it's not where I want to be. <laughs> ah, Zorn and Thorn. Time for a fight. Boss battle against Zorn and Thorn. The j courtroom jesters. Little bastards. This is why I wanted to equip his new, newer weapon. Uh, I'm not sure what these guys have to steal, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. Oh, wow, that was nice. Crazy damage. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, Vivi's down. This will, of course, give everybody regen, but it's going to take a little while for it to be of any use. Yep. Oh, I thought he was down. Oh, he's doing it again. Uh, why well, didn't even bother doing that? They're just gonna take him down as soon as, uh... He's gonna cast Meteorite again. Phoebe's going down. <laughs> One more time, eh? Okay, I think he's out. Oh, they're both out. Oh, nope, they're backing up. 